So in this series, we'll be learning React Native from scratch. Along with creating a strong foundation of React Native, we'll be going ahead and adding quite a few complex things to create our final app. This final app will be called the Bookworm app. In this, we'll be setting up a solid navigation flow using React Navigation version 3. We'll be adding the Firebase real-time database, the Firebase storage, and then we'll also be adding Redux to handle the state of our app. So let's just have a look at a demo. Here in front of me, as you can see, we have the login screen. Clicking on the screen, we'll have an email and password login. Once the user logs in, he'll be taken to the home screen where you'll be managing the books that you're reading. So firstly, you can see that on this home screen, which is the total book screen, we can add a new book. So let's add a new book. Let's call that Deep Thinking. We'll be using a little bit of animation to learn how to animate this in and animate it out once we click this button. As you see, the book gets added and it's updated in our real-time database. Clicking on this placeholder, we'll get the option to either select a photo from our camera or from our photos. Once the photo is selected, we'll be able to crop the photograph Select it, it'll then be uploaded to our Firebase storage and then we'll be able to see the photograph here. Along with that, we have this tab navigator at the bottom which manages the counts of our books. Each tab is going to be clickable and we'll be able to see the books that we're currently reading and the books that we've already read. In our total book screen, we'll also be able to mark a book as read or mark it back as unread. When we mark a book as read, you can notice that the counts of the books at the bottom changes and the state of these books is managed by Redux. We can also go ahead and delete a book and our counts are accordingly updated. When we change tabs, you'll notice that our header title changes dynamically on the same header for the tab navigator. We also have a draw navigator which holds an icon for our app and it also has the home and settings screens. So we'll be learning how to create a complex navigation system, learning how to set up our Firebase database, and also add Redux to our application. All in all, you'll be equipped with all the knowledge you require to create a great app at the end of this course.